drying. Do you guys ever feel like Monday is just like out to get you? Because I'm filming this right now and it's a Monday and it's just like out to get me. <sighs> I don't have my hoop earrings in today and it just makes me feel so empty. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. That was a weird way of saying channel. Channel. Today's video was much, much, much requested as are most of my videos because I go off most of my videos off what you want to see. Whenever I last did my Burlington Coat Factory full face of makeup, it's actually just called Burlington now. They knocked off the no. Coat Factory. But I did that and you guys wanted to see the next video be in Five and Below, which is a store that's like a really high-end Dollar Tree is the best way to describe it. I went into my first five and below today and I picked up some items You'll see that footage in just a second, but I had so much fun in there It was so clean so organized and had so much good stuff If you want me to be completely honest with you the best way to describe it is like the accessory and candy and Makeup section at forever 21. That is what a five and below is like to me. They had so much cute stuff um, So of course I got a full face of makeup, which I had so much fun picking it out there They actually kind of had like one of everything. I didn't have to like scrounge and dig and hope for the best. I could get a foundation and like a concealer and like each product. So the only brand they had that I knew about was Wet n Wild and City Color. And then they had a bunch of little kits like this from brands that I hadn't heard about, but I got a bunch of them because I'm going to try them out. And today I'm going to try out a little brush kit that I got in the store as well. You'll see that in a minute. <laughs> So that's what's happening today. So full face of five and below due to you guys' recommendations to me. Um, thank you for requesting. And yeah, I don't know what else to tell you other than we're about to film this video. I'm gonna have to put my hair up though. That is a bunch of shark fins. Okie dokie. So now let's sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump right in. We'll jump right on in. Subscribe to your channel. Bad for you leave. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna jump right in. Going to five and below, where everything is below five. Let's go. Nice. Okay. So we're a little more fresh because oh. Okay, so we've never even heard of this store before. It's they like got a really candy. classy Dollar Tree. Honestly, it's so clean and pretty in here. I'll be in the candy aisle, honey. Oh. You, you go get oh. your makeup. Without me. All right, I got my candy. It looks like Laura has found the makeup section. Seriously, look at all this makeup. I mean, it's not like, oh, they got a ton of Wet n Wild. Come look at this. Oh my god, they got like more than CVS has got. Like, I'm shooky wooky. They even got the brushes. I did find this $5 brush set. It looked really pretty. And uh, the, the brushes looked pretty good. So I want to try this. What? The contour right here. Now, I could just go over there and do a full face of Wet n Wild. But I'm going to pick up a few Wet n Wild products. But I think it's important to try some products that, you know, aren't Wet n Wild. Since it'll be the new new on the Chizanel. So I'm going to get this stuff. Um basic <laughs> represents me my whole life <laughs> you need to shop on the top shelf do i can you even reach up there i got a couple top shelf is always the best products. right i don't know that that's true you know why they call it top shelf I don't know that that's true. why am i tempted to challenge myself with this palette i just want to make okay this one has taken a beating i mean this could be cool i don't know it's like a little space okay there are people watching you in this store. There stuff. are. People are always watching me. I'm always acting like an idiot. Anyways, look how much one wall they got, guys. Like, I can't get over it. This is more than Walmart's got. They're stunting on Walmart right now. Um, only problem is, didn't find any lashes. So you know your girl's gonna slip on Miami <laughs> towards the end of the video. But um, yeah, this is this has been like a lot of fun in here because of how organized it is, how clean it is. The makeup's like super low price, but being able to like actually see what all they have and have it clean is like, thank you, five men below. If you have one in your area, well, I don't even know if the makeup's good, so let me not recommend anything, but I'm about to go buy a bunch of stuff I don't need now, just the fun part of the video. So come with me. Look at this. You wanna show this? What is this? This is like a little, look, they even have the acrylic organizers. 
Um, they have a rose gold eyeliner, some lip stuff. Why is it in bags? I don't though? know. I think it's just a specific brand, but isn't it cute? I'm gonna get something just to play with. I want to try on this iridescent lip. It's two dollars. Um, and then I'll get this um, liner pencil for two dollars as well. How cute! Mm -hmm. Found uh, some more makeup? Yeah, it looks like they have like some holiday set situations. Five dollar contour. Oh, for the brows, girl, I forgot the brows. Do I get this? Yeah, it's for the brows. Now. I'm gonna get the one in the back. That one looks like it's been hit a few times. Jumping right in, they had a lot of wet and wild makeup, and as you saw in the video, I didn't want to do a full face. Girl, who's calling me from from Girl, where is this even from? The only thing I had a little bit of issue with was finding a foundation to match. So I found this conceal, and I'm already laughing because I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I found this conceal and contour stick. I'm gonna kind of mix them around and make do, make best with what we have. The foundation they had, the only foundation they had there was Wet n Wild, and it was shade Ivory. Huh. Which, unfortunately, just won't work for me. So what I'm gonna do See, this, this seriously looks about like my shade. It's just gonna be a little weird because it's concealer. So I just do like that. And then what I do is I'm gonna take this contour shade, which this is the shade 805. And we're just gonna contour. Now let's say it together. We're gonna take my Y6 brush from Morphe. Y6 brush from Morphe. And you can use my code Laura Lee at checkout with your entire Morphe port. Blah, blah, blah. With your entire Morphe purchase in store and online. <laughs> Shameless self promo. <laughs> All right, here she goes. She's going to blend it out. I'm looking over here because my mirror is over here because I got my tall mirror today. And when I got my tall mirror, if I pull it over here, it gets in the way. You guys really don't complain about the mirror action, but I try not to get it in the way too much because I know it is a little bit distracting. This uh, product's blending out really nicely. Comment down below if you guys have tried out the contour sticks from Wet n Wild before. My face don't look that bad. I mean, you know, just kind of did what we could with what we had. And that's the whole point in this video. That's the whole challenge. So next we're going to go ahead and move on. But I need to add a little bit more concealer to cover the dark circles. So I picked up this Wet n Wild concealer and I got it in the shade Light Ivory. Everything was Light Ivory. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal the darkness away. Just cover it up. Set it in for forget it, boo. Honestly, I think Wet n Wild is one of the best affordable brands out there just because they have really good quality. I do wish they had a little bit more of a shade range. Shade range. Shade range. Shade range. You know what I've noticed in my years on YouTube? It is that I am a lazy... Oh my God, I just poked myself in the eye. Is that I'm a lazy talker and I try so hard to enunciate my words and do better with that. And I've come such a long way. If you watch my first videos, you're like... Compared to now, but I'm still a lazy talker and I'm still working on it. Oh, come on. I bought these because I thought these look like the little Ben Nye setting powders, but it says on here, lose highlight powder. And this could have been the worst disaster ever if I put this all over my face because this is a highlighter and this would have quickly turned into the full face of highlighter challenge. But we're in luck because I just picked up this, uh, this is, I think, the last Wet n Wild product I used, but, oh, I bought the Wet n Wild mascara, but this is a setting powder from them. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. I'm looking for a brush. I'm talking. I'm doing all kinds of things. You guys are used to it. I'm going to take an E54. This is like a flat buffer brush. It's really soft. And what I like to do is, ooh, get some powder on it. And it's really nice to like press that powder into the face because it has that nice, dense, flat top on it. You can set it and forget it. This setting powder is really nice. I like it a lot. I've used it before in the past. And that's one of the reasons I grabbed it up because I was like, well, I can trust you. I can trust you setting powder, okay? Now that our face is nice and set, I think it's time that we contour the face. We're gonna get to eyes in just a second and I kinda have like a plan for a really cool eye look. I hope it turns out as cool as I think it's gonna turn out. But that's not always the case. So let's go ahead and contour. I picked up for $5 a perfect contour and highlighting kit. It comes with this brush. Get out of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my newer brushes and I'm just gonna mix medium and deep together. Oh, lots of product. So let's, okay. Ooh. 
okay, I see she's pigmented. She's trying to make a statement on my face. Whew. You never know with these kids. It's either like zero or a hundred normally. It's never like a mild in between. You never just get that perfect amount of pigment. It's either gonna be like, or like, like you truly never know. So I don't know why I always just dive right in with the brush. You would think I'd be a little more precautious, but here I am just being crazy, diving right in, not knowing what I'm about to expect. This piece of hair is distracting my whole entire life. Next up, I'm going to do my brows. And last minute I saw this $5 contour it all. Uh, eyebrow kit. It's got contour, eyebrow, all that jazz. So I'm going to use the two darker shades over here, mix them together, and I'm going to go ahead and fill out my brows with some powder. It's going to be a powdery eyebrow kind of day. I'm actually going to start with this brush that came in the little marbly kit that I got at the store. And I'm just taking the darkest shade and starting to feather in the brows and fill in the sparse areas because, girl, there's a lot of sparse area that needs to be filled in. Just trying to build up the color. So this brow is looking a little plump and bushy, but what I'm gonna do is take some of that concealer and carve it out and really clean this mess up. And I'm gonna use a little nugget brush right here. It's a little flat synthetic brush. All right, I'm gonna do my other eye and I'll be right back. For eyeshadow, I picked up this Moonlight palette. And We're losing some of our moons here, our little planets. We gotta push them back in. So if you can see, it is on the lower end of makeup, but the challenge is to try to create a bomb look with this. So I'm gonna, girl, get back in there. Stop trying to peep out. Stop trying to make this your moment, cause it's not. And then I got this glitter palette, which I wanna do something with. And then I bought this little glitter. I don't know, I bought a couple. <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff. I'm going to mix Solar Flare, which is our little friend here that keeps trying to pop out. I'm gonna mix it with this uh, warm khaki colored matte shade that's in the contour kit. Whew. And this is the R39 brush. So here I go. Okay, that was nothing. Let's add some more color. That's a little better. So I'm just gonna blend this all the way from the outer corner right here and bring it all the way in the inner corner and just go back and forth to soften it up. It kinda turned out grayish, which is weird because the color's like a reddy color. It's interesting. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna go back in and build up this reddish color more and more and more to get the impigment to show up better. Just really work it from inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Shoop, 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 shoop. Like that, I really like this blender. It is like a medium sized blender so it fits really nicely into my eyelid. Now I'm gonna go into Sky Dust which is a baked uh, bluish shade. I'm gonna put it on an R39 as well. I'm gonna try to gather a lot of the color up so we can get this pretty gosh darn pigmented. All right, let's see what happens because I really, okay, there's like, not a lot of action happening. Hmm. This color wants to be a little difficult to work with. So what I think is gonna have to happen next is we're gonna have to put down a little bit of glitter glue all over the lid and just bring it up to the crease. Now we're gonna try out our glitter galore palette. And I'm gonna take this one right here. Oh, look at all that. Lots of sparkle. I'm kind of nervous. Here we go. You know, it's not so bad, but it's just kind of like grease. And if you can see, it's not, it's like sticking to my finger, not my eye, and kind of creating more of a goopy mess than anything. So that is frustrating, okay? But hope is not lost yet because I bought some actual loose glitter, which is our next attempt that we're gonna go for. Sweet mother of pearl. Okay, I have some on this brush and oh my God, that's like 10 million thousand times better. Look at that, that's what we wanted. This brush is an M224 brush. I'm really putting this glitter down. 
I'm not playing games, honey. I don't think I've ever done a blue sparkly eye on my channel, so I swear to God, if y'all try me, try to hit me with a she's doing the same look, I'm gonna pop out through the screen right now and I'm gonna shake some truth into you. I swear, don't try me. I'm just kidding, you can try me. I'm sorry, uh, hello, she's arrived to the party. Oh. So I'm gonna take this clean brush and just tap off that excess glitter that we see trying it. All right, so we'll do the exact same thing to this eye over here and I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna work on the lower lash line now and I wanna make it a little bit more smoky. So I'm gonna go in with the, excuse me one moment please, with the darker brown color that we did my eyebrow with and I'm gonna dust it from inner to the outer corner making it really sultry and smoky and then we'll pop a lash up here and a little slump slump. And just keep this party moving right along. So I'm gonna use that first R39 brush. Girl, my doorbell's going off. And now I'm taking some of the reddish Mars color and I'm just buffing this right underneath the brown. For eyeliner, I bought this Wet n Wild gel liner. I've used it before and I was very pleased with the outcome. So I was really excited to see this. I don't always have the best of luck with liners and I'm using the little brush that came in the liner kit as well. So here's our little nugget brush and I'm just gonna line the rim of the eye, just that perimeter. And that way whenever we put on mascara, and if you don't do lashes, if you just curl your lashes and put on mascara, you won't see that gap there. My voice whimpered, that gap right there. That will destroy you. Just gonna go ahead and put some in the waterline as well. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and then add my mascara. Today I'm using the Renegade Mascara from Wet n Wild. And they had colorful mascaras there, which I wasn't digging. That's why I ended up with this guy right here. Before I pop on lashes, I got this Mega Glow Highlighter. There's also a highlight in this kit, so I'm gonna use a little bit of both on my face because we are definitely missing some highlight in our life. Oh, got an opener. And Add some to the nosy posy. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of this glow shade right here on top. For lips, I bought a $5 lip kit and <laughs> like a Kylie lip kit, except for it's got five lipsticks in it. Um, so I thought I would try this really nude shade since my eyes are quite bold. Like this would definitely be the best situation. There we go gotta get her open. So first I'm gonna put, they don't have names on them, but I'm gonna put this darker one on. It's quite crusty actually. Hmm. So I think this one's gonna be too light. These are weird. They really don't have much pigment at all. So I'm actually gonna tap into that highlight shade and add a little bit to the lip. I'm gonna tap into the highlighter and just apply some right in this inner corner to open her up. I'm also gonna apply a little bit to the brow bone. You gonna need to lower it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, the highlight on my cheekbone's a little bit light, so it's looking a little ashy whenever I turn straight into the camera. It's like, eek. It looks pretty from the side. <sighs> Happens every time. Uh, I'm just gonna add some right here. I just put highlight everywhere, honestly, because it just makes my day better. Um, let me take down. Ow! So this is the final look. Here we have it. Here she is. What do you guys think? Um, this five and below makeup, guys. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I really liked the makeup. And I would use it again, especially the glitter. The glitter palette was a little mushy, didn't really work out. Um, but the brow pa palette was nice. I like the way the brows turned out. The contour palette was very pigmented. We did finagle the foundation. Oh girl, almost forgot the scent and spray. We got the wet and wild matte finish scent and spray. Girl, let me get a squirt. Get her going. <sighs> mm-hmm. There we have it. What do you guys think? 
Give this video a big old whopping thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And yeah, if you stay till the end of the video, comment the word Cheeto. Comment, look, go look at my shirt. Hot Cheeto Anonymous. Comment the word Cheeto, but it's our secret for the people who stay till the end of the video. Don't be telling anybody in the comment section why you comment the word Cheeto is between us. It is our secret. Thank you so much. Comment the word Cheeto down below and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on if you want a little ding when I upload so you can be the first to comment. I'm always commenting back to you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you for being here and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from five and below and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I'm hoping to get this video up like on a Tuesday Tuesday. Um, yeah, I hope your Tuesday is absolutely wonderful and the rest of your week is too. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl, that new Ariana Grande song got me crying in the club. I'm just kidding. I'll go to the club, but it got me crying now. She really did that. Ugh, where am I going to go with these blue sparkly eyes? Maybe I should go to the club. I don't know. Okay, I'll leave. I'll, I'll stop here. It always gets really weird at the end of the video and it's normally like, Laura, you need to like cut it and get off camera. Okay, love you. See you later.